Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. We're going to be reacting to this video by VT. Those are his initials. I do not want to chop up his name, but check out this video. Give myself the gift of no often. It's the most amazing gift you'll ever give yourself. Say no. No, I'm not available to come to that party. No, I can't fly to that place. No, I can't attend that Formula One race. No, no, no. What I've learned is that the people I admire, the people I look up to are almost never available. One of my mentors just launched a refinery. There's not a single interview of him anywhere on Bloomberg or nothing. What does he do? He takes his ex executives and CEOs, he lets them speak, but he's not speaking. And it's a beautiful Buddhist expression. It says, even without announcement, the sun rises every morning. He doesn't need to announce what he's done. He's done it. And everybody's aware that he's done it. All right, Kirby, this is one. This is a guy that we uh, have sent videos back and forth to before. He has very good content really knows how to deliver a message i really like this video especially and because kirby you always say your favorite word is no and it's the forgotten word in the english language so yes. um this was a great video to see it speaks a lot for those that know how to say no and we actually reacted to a video similar to this from um the ex-wife or ex-girlfriend of elon musk who he was another one who often said no and there's a lot of power in that word, but I'll hand it off to you so you can get your thoughts in. Yeah, and it was two elements on this video that really stood out. When he said the sunrise every morning without making an announcement, that's something that, especially in this social media world, everybody has to announce what they do. Everybody has to put their face on stuff. Me, I'm a person that I don't want nobody to know anything. I mean, in previous videos, I talked about how going on job sites, nobody knew who I was. I wanted that way because I believe once you start announcing to the world what you are, what you're doing, you just become a target. Just look at what happens with all the lawsuits and things that come out with people that everybody know they have money, so let's go get them. I mean, I personally had a situation and I had to rechange my business structure because Everything was in my name. The getting a car accident, no damage to nobody, but the family wanted to attack me and my family because they knew we had assets. They knew what we own. So being so in the announcement world of announcing who you are and how much money you have or showing off what you have, you it don't do nothing but create it makes you a target to be had. Um so I'm all for don't know nothing. That's why you see the green screens behind us. You know, you see the, you know, we don't sit here and talk about, oh, what cars we buying and all this. We talk about deals and assets. But if you look us up, you probably won't find no no deal or asset in my name. And that's how that's how I want it. Um, and speaking of that, it's funny. I I called a realtor in Oklahoma. Out of the blue, she didn't know who I was. She was listing the property. And then I just called her up and said, hey, I want to buy this property. And she's like, what's your name? And then she's like, are you an investor? I said, yeah. She's like, what's your name? And she was like, I looked up your name. You don't own nothing. So I called her. And then she just bust out laughing. Like, she just bust out laughing. Like, yeah, well, you know, I, I was like, yeah, because I have any entities that make sure that my name is not on there. And then we end up doing a deal together. But... That's how I want it. I don't want yeah. people to know, oh, yeah, you this, you this, you got this, you got that. No. All right. The second part of the video, so I can keep this shorter. The second part of the video is we talked about the the no, the no, the no, the no. Like, I say no to a lot of things and not saying I'm not being saying no just to be an asshole. It's I don't want to be readily available to everybody. I don't want that that aspect i don't want to finance by bad decisions i don't want to be in uh places and a good friend you know who he is they always invite me to end of the year parties and engagements they say oh man we always talk about you everybody want to meet you and i always say no i always say no to those events and the reason why is why do i have to be available i'm not I don't want people like, oh, well, yeah, there he is, Kirby. <laughs> and then they just unindate me with questions, questions. So I'm not even enjoying where I'm at. It's just I'm asking questions, stuff that you can go find on YouTube or or something like that. Don't. So I'm, I don't make myself just really available to everybody because 
it it makes no sense you know yeah. i just want to own and quiet and to see it in private that's it yeah no there's a saying no saves you a lot of time saves you a lot of money mm-hmm. saves you yep. a lot of everything personal mental peace because especially with those questions where i get asked where people tell me oh this person i know they want to meet you they can so that they can talk to you about stocks that's the most common one i get rarely ever like real estate or anything but they want to talk to me and then that same person that tells me that they know someone that wants to meet me will ask me hey did you reach out to them no i'm not going to go out of my way to try and teach someone if they want to learn they can come to me because i'm not going to just try and waste my time trying to help somebody because in most cases people don't want it as bad as you yourself want it and so saying no has saved me a lot of time saved me a lot of everything and uh yeah there's no reason to announce anything you know a lot of people they like they no one knows the grind you go through they just see maybe the aftermath of oh wow he just got a property or he just you know he he's able to go on this trip or whatever like people do not understand that those that like technically run the world aren't even announcing those things you know it's like why would you go on social media to show off to everybody and i think that's a lack of security with yourself basically learning that entrepreneur path or whatever people want to call it learning how to say no is going to be very necessary it's going to be required in order to grow because i think a lot of people don't see the amount of time that they waste doing mundane tasks and things that have no relevance to you know their actual path to success because people are wanting to be entertained rather than be productive oh that was a good one right there want to be entertained and be productive uh and you see that everywhere i mean you can follow the social media path people people want to di- divorce themselves from the life that they live so they just log on to social media and then they just look at stuff that's just will take them out of the mind's eye of the reality of the life that they live and you always got those yes person yes to this yes to this event you see the social butterfly but then they use this they don't use a social butterfly to improve themselves they just use it to be known be known for what yeah they know your name but at the end of the day it's not bringing you revenue now if you you know, going out to events and stuff like that, and you're networking and you're increasing your clientele, you're increasing your cash flow from going out to these events, then great. But if you're not and you're and it's you're spending money to get dressed and buy the next dress, buy the next suit to do all these events, and it's just cost, 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 you're just at a detriment to yourself just to say somebody know your name. I'd rather nobody know my name and I just keep going on living life, keep producing, keep being productive, focus on production. But for most people, everybody just want to be their own TikTok celebrity and think that they're doing it. You see it all the time on, you know, Facebook. Everybody got to announce or post everything that they're doing just to make them feel like they're doing something. But in reality, they're doing nothing. I mean, I, I call it treadmilling going nowhere fast they just and they're still in the same place <laughs> that's that's really what they're doing so but yeah alex you made a good point there with all that being said guys if you like the video hit the like button let us know what you thought uh, share this video subscribe and we will see you guys on the next one